Heat transfer modes, we have already seen that is conduction, convection, radiation. Conduction, as you all know, okay, heat transfer to a solid medium via direct contact. Now we will come, we will enter into the mathematical expression for the conduction. So, it is a very famous equation called Fourier's law of conduction. You can see Fourier's law of conduction, okay. So, Q is equals to minus K dt by dx. So, you can see it is heat flux. So, basically the equation stands out to be Q is minus K A temperature gradient, okay. So, Q is directly proportional to the temperature gradient minus of dt by dx, okay. Q is directly proportional to area, okay, more the area more is the heat transfer, better is the temperature gradient, better is the heat transfer, okay. So, if you remove the constant of proportionality, you will have this k, okay, you will have this k and this k is basically thermal conductivity, it is a property, it is a property of material, various materials have various thermal conductivities. Now, this is a temperature gradient, see dip in the temperature from T2 to T1 along this thickness x. Why it is dipping? It is dipping because the molecules are more excited here, okay. So, when it transfers from this side to this side, it actually loses energy. So, here the excitement will be lesser, okay. So, that is why the temperature the temperature across this particular thickness x will tend to decrease. So, that is why you have a negative sign. So, more thicker is the wall, you, you have already, uh, you, you already know this fact, the more thicker is the wall, okay, more thicker is the wall, more cooler will be your room, cold, cold room, right. So, more thicker is the wall, more colder will be the room, okay. So, Fourier's law at steady state, Fourier's law of steady state, see heat transfer rate, okay. So, what is happening is Q is equals to minus K dt by dx, okay. So, dt will be broken up like T out minus T in, okay. So, it is just a little bit of mathematics. So, it is going like Q is equals to T out minus T in by L by K A and this L by K A, this is called thermal resistance. Thermal resistance means suppose uh, if you have like an electrical resistance, an electrical resistance, this is the current and this is the potential difference. So, potential difference delta V, okay. So, to, to flow charge into the circuit, you need to apply delta V. To flow heat into the circuit, you need to apply delta T, okay. Then, what is flowing here? Current is flowing here. What is flowing here? Heat is flowing here, okay. So, electrical resistance and the thermal resistance electrical resistance is replaced by, so this is called analogy, okay. So, you can see Q, okay, Q, this is delta T and we all know that V, that delta V is equals to I R, okay. So, R will be equals to delta V by I, so R will be equals to delta T by Q, so here it is. So, this is the thermal resistance for conduction, okay. Example, temperature 35 degrees Celsius, 22 degrees are maintained on opposite sides of a steel floor on 6 mm thick, compute the heat flux, thermal conductivity. So, everything is given, you can just compute it, okay. Thermal conductivity of, uh, of some common metals, the unit you have to remember this watts per meter Kelvin, okay. So, you can see it is common metals, metals have higher conductivity and non-metals have lower conductivity. Okay, suppose a human could live for 2 hours unclothed in air 45 degrees Fahrenheit, how long could she live in water at 45 degrees Fahrenheit? So, that is a good question, you can just solve it later on sometime. I have just explained you electrical thermal analogy. So, I is equals to V by R, so Q is equals to delta T by R. Just now I have explained you that is the thermal analogy. Composite wall, now there could be many components here, this is K1, this is K2, X1, X2, T1. T2 and the heat is flowing up here. So, since these are in series, so the resistances will be added up and resistances will be L1 by K1A plus L2 by K2A. See here it is, 
R1 plus R2, X1 by K1, X2 by K2. A has been taken common because this has the common area. Okay, so this is how you solve. The same thing you can do it. Okay, this is a fire bat. Fire bat means a fire resistance wall. This from here the heat is flowing. Okay, this is the Q that the heat is coming up. This is an insulation panel, the TNF panel. Conductivity is given. Okay, these are the thicknesses given. Okay, determine the Q if the wall is having this much of area. So this has K this, this has K of this. Okay, so this steel plate having K 50 watts per meter Kelvin. These are various X1, X2, X3. So you need to calculate Q. Okay, convection you all know natural force. Okay, now the uh, very basic thing is the Newton's cooling law. Okay, so the same thing is happening once again. Okay, so it is Q is equals to H delta T. So it is surface temperature minus the ambient temperature. Okay, and the resistance for this is 1 by H if you take A common. Okay, on similar lines you have to solve this. Okay, the magnitude of convection coefficients as you can see arrangement air free indoor has different amount of H. Okay, air forced outdoor has different amount of H oil forced, water forced, steam condensing has different amount of H. So we all know that resistance is equals to L by Ka for conduction and resistance is 1 by HA for, for convection. Okay. So this you need to remember. Okay. The same thing you can do here. See as, uh, as for the previous slide we all know that the free indoor has H this, forced outdoor has H this. So we have K1, we have K2, we have K3, like, uh, likewise the previous slide, we have X1, we have X2, we have X3. Now we have H1 here and H2 here. This is indoors and that is outdoors. Okay, That is indoors and that is outdoors. Okay, So what will you be doing? So L1 by K1A, all they are in series, L2 by K2A, L3 by K3A plus 1 by H1 A plus 1 by H2 A. So this will be R. So Q, Q is delta T by summation of R. So this is how you will solve the numerical. Okay. Radiation, the simple energy emitted by object. This uh, uh, likewise the important, so the same thing. Solar radiation is radiation emitted by the sun due to nuclear fusion reaction. Solar constant, the amount of solar energy arriving at the top of the atmosphere perpendicular to the sun's rays arriving at the time and the value has been uh, calculated as 1375 watts per meter square. Okay. Solar radiation spectrum, solar radiation spectrum, the nine, this is the visible solar radiation spectrum. This is infrared, this is near infrared, this is microwaves. So this is the range where we can see. Okay. This is the visible range. Okay. Now, the Wien's law, very important law. The Wien's law says the hotter the object, the shorter the wavelength of the peak radiation. You can see T3 is hotter, so it has got shorter wavelength. T2 is less hotter, so it has got a longer wavelength. Wavelength is actually increasing. See, so this is basically Wien's law. So the peak wavelength is 2900 by T micrometers. Okay, see the same the wavelength is actually shifting towards the shorter side when the values are increasing see the values are actually doubled okay the black body okay so this is stephen boltzmann law stephen boltzmann law this is stephen constant 5.6 10 to the uh, this so it's a very famous law a sigma t to the power 4 so any any object which has got absolute temperature of t can emit radiation with this mathematical calculation the gray body now the gray body has to have this emissivity because it's not a perfect black body that was for a perfect black body so you just need to multiply emissivity to the stephen boltzmann radiation okay so emissivity r of this range okay net radiant heat if a hot object is radiating to a cold surrounding the radiation loss will be emissivity stephen boltzmann constant area hot to the power 4 minus cold to the power 4 as we all know that Q is equals to sigma A T to the power 4. Okay. So this T to the power 4, so if we need to have net, so it is Q sigma A 
delta t to the power 4 and delta t to the power 4 means t14 minus t2 to the power 4 it is not t1 minus t2 to the power 4 okay so same thing quiz how much energy does human body radiate body temperature this much body area this much and emissivity so this much numerical you can do radiant heat transfer unit thermal re uh, resistance for radiation is written as is just the same thing as we have already done okay so this is the convector this is the combined radiation that is hc plus hr okay so r is equals to 1 by hc plus hr hc is convection hr is radiation and these are certain emissivity values these are the certain h values for emissivity of 0.9 and air velocity of this okay so the combined modes that that, that i have already explained you that is r is equal to 1 by h hot then uh, suppose if there are two surfaces like k1 and k2 so you will be having l1 by k1 1 by h cold 1 by h hot so you just need to add everything you will get the resistances okay compute them you will get the q see okay these are all the resistances okay overall heat transfer coefficient overall heat transfer coefficient you have you have the summation of r so q q is equals to 1 by summation of r okay it is just the opposite of the resistance so q will be u a delta t so overall heat transfer coefficient example is the same thing we will actually solve this example see uh, this is a 6 mm steel 75 mm of fire batteries okay 25 mm of air gap and 20 mm of ceiling board this is basically a practical example and we'll do we will solve practical example later on okay so i, I will take another lecture particularly to solve how to do this practically now i will talk about the practical see we will fill these columns outside air steel mineral wool air space ceiling board and inside air the resistance column is blank here okay so i will tell you how engineers do it professionally okay how engineers do it professionally i will tell you how to solve it okay theory is enough now practical things has to be done so solution we will calculate this solution